I was watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills last night, and my, you know, and I love the show. I watch it because of Garcelle Bouvet, and my girl, just, G, Garcelle is obsessed with these Birkin bags. And Birkin bags, they're made by, am I saying it right, Hermes? Hermes? Hermes yeah. Okay, you can tell I don't have one. Hermes. <laughs> And these bags cost anywhere from $8,500 to over $300,000. So I'm watching the show, and last night, Garcelle got a Birkin. Take a look. I'm fascinated with the love of Birkins, and I don't have one. Ooh, I got kids that had to go to college. It just seems like a lot for a bag. Does it come with money in it? That's a good number for that. You change your mind, sell it. Smart. You never will, but that makes you right. feel good. That's what I do. <laughs> Okay. You'll make more money. Bon dieu! Bon so! <laughs> mm -mm, girl! $13,000 for And if you notice, when they had the bag, they didn't even have a one in front of the three. It was like an A. It was a symbol. <laughs> now, this is a third. $13,000. How many of y'all would, if you had that money, $13,000 would buy, clap if you would buy a Birkin bag? You would. You like, I'm gonna use that tax refund check, boy. <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I can't, uh, I can't imagine spending that much money on a, a designer bag. Because I come from a family who, who really had, and, and so did Garcelle, which is why you want to treat yourself. But um, I come from this family who were like, 13,000, you can get a coin laundromat for 13,000. You can buy pay phones. That was my family, I would say, you buy pay phones. They, they don't even make pay phones anymore. Yeah, but, or you, you can buy a McDonald's franchise. So, I still have that, you know, in, in my head. I don't think I could do it. Um, I would love to, uh, and here's the thing, you, I, I buy the fake bags every once in a while, try to get, like, and I, you, because, and here's the thing, I go over to Canal Street over in New <laughs> Because nobody knows, nobody knows that the Birkin bag is real except people who have the real Birkin bag. They know. So I go over to Canal Street, and even on Canal Street out here, they bougie because they gotta ask you what's the password, okay? <laughs> so you gotta give them some kind of weird password. Polar bears, polar bears. <laughs> then they take you down the stairs, through an alley, up the stairs, to a big old warehouse. You don't know if you are gonna get murdered or sent to another country. <laughs> when I tell you, these fake bags, they're laid out on a soft cloth, and then they just tell you, and then you go buy one. Now, it may not, it may, it's a Birkin bag. It may say Kirkin or Irkin. <laughs> the B might be gone. But you get it, and then you go in there, and I go just strutting in there with my Birkin bag. Now, Kathy Hilton might know that it's not a Birkin bag, but my friend Tangie, who work at Bank of America, don't know. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> 